Goodbye. Ciao. Welcome to another On the Road edition hosted by Stevie Kim. Join us as we kick off a new seven-part series with our fantastic partner, E. and J. Gallo Winery. This new series of interviews will be live on Clubhouse and replayed on the Italian Wine Podcast through to April 16th. This first episode is a teaser to Stevie's upcoming interview in Montalcino with Bernardino Sani of Argiano in Tuscany. Join her over the next two Saturdays as she visits the winery to talk about the incredible estate and taste the the wines. Hey, hello, good morning. Ciao, buongiorno. buongiorno, buongiorno Stevie. What's your name? Bernardino. Bernardino. You have a last name, right? Bernardino. Yes, Sani. Sani. So can you tell us a little bit about where we are? Here we are in the heart of Argiano. Argiano, as you know, it's a very historical property. Our vineyards uh, start there and then go up north. We have uh, 58 hectares uh, of vineyards at the moment, 120 hectares of property. It's very nice uh, to be in this valley, as we have the Mediterranean Sea over there that uh, had an important, an extremely important role uh, in the composition of the soils here. Because 20 million years ago, the ocean was covering those lands. When it retired, it left a lot of shells that uh, mixed with the clays uh, create the limestones effect in the soil. Very good uh, and very useful for making extremely nice Sangiovese. Apart from the ocean that is over there, we have the Monte Amiata over there. And it's important also because it's protecting us from the biggest uh, uh, storms. It's a good screen and also had an influence on the soil's composition of Montalcino too. Okay, very good. Is this the villa? The name it used to be called is Villa Bellaria. That okay. means a beautiful air. It is original from the 1580 century, so has a big history. So we have the office here, we have the cellar downstairs, the original one that we restored completely. We have the main floor where the, the owners of Argiano, the Steves family lives when it's here. And at the last floor, we will host a museum of Renaissance pictures. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, you know what? Explain us um, the, the emblem. Is this, is this the family emblem? This is the crust that is still uh, used in Argiano's label uh, and um, is the family crust from the Gaetani Lovatelli d'Aragona family. And here we are really in the heart of Argiano. This uh, has always been a cell and uh, is now divided into two parts. One is dedicated to the collection of our wines and one is still used uh, as uh, a cellar for aging of the wine. Wow, very deep. So uh, tell us where we are. We have uh, three uh, barrel rooms in Argiano, and this is the most important because in this uh, room, uh, in these rooms, in those rooms, uh, we age the best parcels of Brunello di Montalcino and part of the Solengo, the, the Super Tuscan wine. So the best wines of Argiano are being aged here in barrels between 1,000 liters and 2,000 liters. In those rooms, uh, we have uh, a library collection of bottles, not only from Argiano, but also you will see from uh, uh, Bordeaux and from Burgundy and uh, from Sauterne. So it's not just Argiano. It's not just Argiano. Uh, André has a fun, an amazing passion for the wine. Owner. Yeah, the, owner. the new owner. And uh, so here we have uh, all the Premier Grand Cru Classé of Bordeaux. And then we also have a white room that is pretty special. It's really, really amazing. Okay, where are we? So we are in the modern part of the winery, in the fermentation room. We do have different kind of fermentation tanks. Those one that we use 
for uh, all the Sangiovese, for Rosso di Montalcino, IGT, and for the Cabernet Merlot and Petit Verdot. And for the parcels of Sangiovese, we use a special cement tank, uh, fermentation tanks that are Okay, there. so let's go. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the uh, these egg vessels. So yes, as you see, we have those eggs specifically for uh, alcoholic fermentation and also malolactic fermentation of the six best parcels of uh, Sangiovese. The wine ferment here and exit the very open, very round, that they don't have reduction. We did this cellar in 2014 when we decided to restore the old underground cellar and when we decided that we needed more space to age our Sangiovese completely in big oak barrels. All right, so tell us where we are. We are in the Vigna del Suolo. So this is the oldest vineyard of Argiano, very important for us since we started in 2012 to take care specifically of this vineyard in a different way. Not only was the first to be treated organically, but it went through a process of restoration since they have, it has some old plants of 60 years old like, like this one. And uh, what we are missing, uh, we are replanted uh, using uh, the same vegetative material of this, uh, this one. Vigna del Suolo has uh, some specific uh, uh, characteristics. The first uh, and most important is that those clones of Sangiovese are old clones of Sangiovese. So, I mean, they don't produce a lot of grapes, these vines, right? They have a good balance now with the environment. Uh, usually in Brunello di Montalcino, you're allowed uh, to produce uh, between uh, 6,000 and 7,000 kilos of grapes per hectare. Here we are between four and 5,000 kilos. So tell me a little bit about the soil here. Yeah, so the soil is important, uh, it's very important uh, in making uh, Brunello, and uh, it's a clay, mixed with limestones. The method is uh, we don't use any fertilizer. Since uh, 15 we became organic uh, and uh, in 19 we got the certification. And how many hectares do you have here? We have uh, in total 58 hectares of vines all around. It's beautiful. It's like it was 500 years ago. It's almost uncontaminated. Yeah, for kilometers. And that's a wrap for today. Tune in once again next week for part one of two episodes in which Stevie interviews Bernardino Sani of Argiano. She visits the winery and tastes the incredible wines. We hope you enjoyed this episode. To learn more about today's featured producer, see our show notes and visit their website. Don't forget to subscribe and like our show and tune in to the Italian Wine Podcast wherever you get your pods.